trouble with skin disease is it's not taught all that well as an undergraduate. And so a lot of doctors that contact me feel a bit intimidated when someone with a rash comes in, which is understandable. So certainly before I did dermatology, I used to find rashes very hard to sort out. With Teliderm, we usually turn around responses for help within 24 hours. So the, the things you can do when you're confronted with someone with a rash are the following. One is, if you think you know the diagnosis but you're not certain of the management, you can actually go to the Teliderm um, condition index and look up the thing, look up the condition you think they've got, have a look at the photo, say, oh yeah, well that, that does look a bit like what I'm dealing with. I wonder what Jim did to treat this. And if you look through the questions, it, it, it'll, it'll take you through that case, how I take, took the history, what I looked for, what tests I did, what else I thought about, what other differentials, um, and what, in, what investigations I did and what management I instituted. And, and the idea of that is, is that you can adapt that, that case that I managed to your patient. And you might say, well, my patient's similar except they've got this other thing going on, so I'm gonna do this instead, but otherwise I'll keep it exactly the same. The, con the conditions are all indexed under their diagnosis. So if you've got someone with bad scalp seborrheic dermatitis or facial seborrheic dermatitis or with a foot dermatitis or with atopic dermatitis or with urticaria or you just look it up under the diagnosis and, and see what I did and see if, if, see if you can sort it out without <coughs> having to ask for help. If you want help, it's, it's there. We, we pride ourselves on responding within 24 hours. In fact, we recently surveyed it and the vast majority will respond within six hours which is probably a lot faster than you're going to be able to get a face-to-face -face consultation. Ideally, send me in photos, but you don't have to. You don't have to send me in photos. If you send me a description of what's going on, I can usually make some sort of a fist of giving advice. Um, the more information you give me, the better. Uh, if you, if you, if you, you know, sometimes I'll get, I'll get referrals, which are just a couple of photos with nothing. I don't know the age of the patient even sometimes, which is suboptimal. So the more information you give me, the more likely I am to be able to help you. Unique to Teliderm is the way we do online um, consultation advice. So any doctor who's enrolled in Teliderm can send in a case for advice, and any other doctor who's enrolled in it can actually look at that case in real time as it comes in, as it's answered, and you know, have a think about it. What would I do? I wonder what's going on and compare it to my answers. Not that my answers are always right by any stretch of the imagination, but you can use that as, a, as an educational guide. You can also, if you look, if you look through the Teliderm cases, you can, you'll probably pretty quickly get an idea of the optimal, um, the optimal submission of information for help. Often I have to ask a whole lot of clarifying questions like very commonly the amount of information I get won't be enough and so I'll have to say well you know what medications are they on is there a history of asthma is there a history of hay fever has they ever had skin disease before etc etc so the more information you give me in the consultation the better